where did you see the tide kind of turn? Obviously, there was that pick six for them. You know, that gave them maybe a comfortable lead. Where did this game change, do you think? I don't think there was any point in time uh, that the game changed. I think that throughout the course of the ball game, they performed better than we did and executed uh, better than we did. And, and that's why the score was lopsided. You know, I felt like we'd have a chance to play our way uh, back into the ball game. And was, I thought Robert Marv gave us a shot in the arm, and, and I thought maybe at that point in time we'd have a chance to play our way back into the ball game. But I think it was consistent throughout the course of the game that they played better and executed better than we did. And as a result, we lost. Then you started to get talked about nationally a little bit. Just, did you feel like this game was a measuring stick in any way? And if it was, how did you feel like you measured up? I don't think we played very well today. Uh, you know, obviously we're going to uh, rebound from this and learn from it and, and regroup and, and come out and, and work hard and, and play better. You know, as far as a measuring stick on the on the national level, I don't uh, perceive it that way. You know, we'd have to play well in order for me to to. to, to have something to compare to or measure with. We didn't play well, so to me, there's no way we can use it as a measuring stick. We, we, if we played better, then I could, could, I could tell you where we're at. But if we didn't play well, I didn't give ourselves a chance to win today. Danny, down in distance probably had something to do with it, but he came in, I think, ranked third in the nation in third down conversions at 58%, and you won for 11 today. Again, down in distance was sure. huge. But, but uh, can you just talk a little bit about maybe what went wrong on third down this week after being so good at it previously? Well, it's hard to tell without looking at the film, but I know what sticks out of my mind is the fact that we had some drops you know, early in the ball game and got out of rhythm some. And again, as you have mentioned, that you know, down in distance is a huge factor. You don't convert as many third and longs as you do third and shorts and third and medium. But I think that uh, you know, we had some drops and that hurt us some. And, and we'll look at the film and find out what we have to do better. So what did you see from Robert Marv, and will this be an opportunity for him to get more snaps moving forward now? I think so. You know, we didn't know what or when the opportunity would arrive to get him in the ball game. You know, we, we felt like you know, coming into the ball game, he was number two. Uh, Caleb had played very well last week, and we thought that uh, keeping uh, Caleb in the ball game without necessarily having a predetermined uh, point in the, in the game to put Robert in, you know, just, just kind of let the – let the game flow, let Caleb play. Uh, you know, if, if if Caleb had been injured or or if the performance had, had not gone the way we wanted to, then then bring Robert Marv in, and, and that's what we did today. You know, so I was pleased with Robert. I think he showed uh, great courage, showed a lot of courage, you know, a lot of grit. Uh, before he re-injured his ACL, I felt like he was you know really you know coming on. You know, the best he'd been at his at his position, the most reps he had gotten. The ball was coming out of his hand. The game had slowed down for him, and the, and the injury happened. You know, so I still think he went out there and did some great things today. He got got the ball out of his hand in a hurry. You know, showed a lot of courage. You know, obviously uh, his success today, I think, merits uh, some opportunities for him to play in the future. But again, we'll look at the film and see. You need to let this digest a little bit to determine what you do with the quarterback position. If you go back to what you did at the start of the year, where you predetermined. Uh, situations for those two guys? I'd rather look at the film and, and get a better assessment, you know, of how the people around our quarterbacks play. You know, a lot of times, uh, you know, they play about as good as the ones around them play, you know. So I want to look at the film and get an assessment and then make some decisions from there. Coach, just uh, 56 yards on 26 carries rushing. What do you have to do to get the ground game going? And, and what did Michigan do defensively that kind of stopped stop you? We were concerned coming in, uh, you know, about their strong uh, run defense. You know, they uh, played Notre Dame a couple weeks ago, turned it over five times, and even though Notre Dame won the ball game, they can only manufacture a couple hundred yards of offense. So we do coming into the ball game that we were going up against a very strong uh, Michigan defense. Uh, we felt like coming into the ball game, we were going to have to throw it in order to have a chance to win the game. You know, so uh, when we uh, call our run plays, it didn't look like we manufactured many uh, holes for the backs or many opportunities, you know, from a rush standpoint. So, uh, again, we didn't come into the ball game today thinking that we were going to run the ball a lot or for a whole lot of yardage. We felt like coming into the ball game today, we were going to have to be able to pass the football in order to have a chance to win. Uh, the other teams that have tried to run the football against Michigan have not uh, manufactured a lot of rushing game, and, and we were concerned coming in. And you had to roll out your quarterbacks a lot, uh, and they still got pressured at times. Is it, is it an illustration of where you feel like you're at with your offensive line at this point in the season? Well, we didn't have to roll 
uh, the, 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 the quarterback. We, we chose to, you know, coming into the ball game, we felt like they were really strong up front. We were defensive front, and we wanted to move the pocket some. And uh, I think it's important at times not to have the uh, the quarterback in the same position where the defense can manufacture their rush and just draw an X and then know where the spot is going to be at. So we wanted to move the, the, the quarterback around, but we came into the ball game today with the idea that we were going to move the pocket and move the quarterback, and and, uh, and, and that would be important, you know, for the in the outcome of the ball game, but it wasn't like we went out there and tried to protect the quarterback and we could and then decide to, to move the pocket. We went to the ball game believing and knowing we were going to have to move the pocket. So they have a very strong defensive front. We do, we do that coming into the ball game. Danny, how hard is it to read Robinson when he keeps it on that play? Well, he's a you know he's a great player and he executed the quarterback run read game very well today. And we were hoping that we could come out from a defensive standpoint and execute better, minimize our errors, and uh, you, know, you shut down their quarterback run read game. But they do a lot of different things, and they provide a lot of different options for him. And you know, he turned the field over today three, four, five times and really impacted uh, the outcome of the ball game. I didn't realize he had rushed for that many yards, but obviously uh, he had a great game. And, uh, and their offensive line executed well, but I thought he ex he he uh, managed their offense and, and and executed their offense very well. I thought he had a great game. Uh, we when he dropped back to pass, we didn't manufacture near enough pass rush. We thought we'd be able to keep him off balance and out of sync a little bit in a passing game, and maybe uh, you know, make some big plays on defense, get some sacks, you know, get some get some takeaways, and and that uh, didn't uh, you know. It didn't happen today, so they played very well offensively, and I thought Denard Robinson had his, had his best game. How is Bruce Gaston? I think Bruce is okay. He uh, had a hamstring injury at the end of the ball game against Marshall and didn't practice very much this week. He didn't practice very much this week. Uh, Ricardo Allen didn't practice very much this week. Uh, Normando Harris is out. He didn't play at all today. We didn't. We didn't have him suited up. He's struggling with the knee injury that he sustained way back in the summer. He's tried to come back and play some and practice some, and he's done some good things. But uh, that uh, injury has uh, regressed in some ways, so he's out for a couple of weeks. Uh, so we, you know, we we were out of sync a little bit defensively with Bruce being out and, and uh, Ricardo being out and Armando being out. But again, we should should have and could have played a lot better. We're a better football team than what we demonstrated today. Stands out as a fourth and one in the second quarter. You guys had called the timeout right before that, and it ends up being an interception that goes the other way. Just kind of, what was the breakdown on that play, and how much of them just a momentum swing is that? We uh, slid the protection, and the quarterback threw a, a high pass. I don't know uh, whether or not if the back that was assigned to blocking the end man on the line of scrimmage was able to get uh, his pads down low and get his hands down. So I think Caleb had to throw the ball over the over the over the end. Uh, from a rush standpoint, and that manufactured a high pass. It, I think it went through was it maybe OJ's hands. I think that was the receiver on that side of the field. So, you know, obviously they got a pick, and, and that uh, was a, could have been a difference maker in the ball game. It was at that point in time. And at the end of the ball game, it was just one, one play of, of many that we'd like to take back. But we'll look at it on film, but I believe that we didn't get the end's hands down, and Caleb had to throw the top of the end, and that manufactured a high pass that OJ couldn't get a handle on, and they picked and took back to the house. I think that's what happened, didn't it? Okay. See it on film, but that's the best part I remember about it. Uh, Coach, with Denard's interceptions against Notre Dame, what was the plan coming into the game in terms of how to possibly put him in situations that he might do the same thing in terms of turning the ball over? Well, we felt like we needed to play uh, you know, very, very uh, disciplined assignment football. Him passing the football wasn't our biggest concern coming into the ball game today. It was all the quarterback run read and all the option game that they can manufacture uh, from that. And when you're playing against a, that type of offense, then you have to be assignment sound. And maybe we did a good job assignment-wise. You know, we'll see on film. Obviously, there has to be some errors somewhere. They would have manufactured that many points. But I think a lot of it had to do with poor tackling. I think we've pa we have tackled well uh, so far throughout the course of the season, but we didn't tackle very well today. There were a lot of fine, skilled athletes on the offensive side of the ball, and they got in space, and we, we didn't tackle well. Coach, you guys had played real well up until today. There were growing hopes for this team. You had the goal of being undefeated at Ross Aid Stadium. Some of those things were out the door. How humbling a loss is this today, and how do you think your players will handle it and respond? Well, I'm hoping 
that will take today's game and learn from it and it'll become a motivating factor for our football team. It should. We have a great group of young men that, that want to win. They've done a fantastic job preparing themselves uh, you know, for the upcoming season. We played hard and we played well. We didn't play as well today. Uh, certainly we have enough pride as a football team to regroup and then rally back. But we can learn some things from the ball game today. And I believe the ball game today will be a great motivating factor for our football team. Has to be. Has to be. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you.